So that wasn't exactly easy for Liverpool, was it? A hard-fought 2-1 win over Wolves takes them top of the Premier League. And you have to admit, first off the bat, really, about this performance is there was a lot of sloppiness in there. Liverpool making it really difficult for themselves with some bad choices in possession. And Wolves played well at, at times as well and made it really difficult. And yet... I'm looking at the post-match reaction, the immediate post-match reaction on social media, and a lot of it is focusing on the negatives, as I maybe did in that intro there, but a little bit over the top for me, really. And yes, we've got to be careful in these early stages under Arna Slot. You can't just judge results, can you? You don't want to you know, fall into the trap of thinking, oh, well, the results are there. That means that everything's rosy and everything's got to be okay. You need the performances to back them up because that lets you know then that in the long term, this is sustainable. And so, you know, poor performances that get good results, you, you, you've got to be a little bit wary of those in terms of what they mean in the long term. But one thing, I think we're getting a bit caught up a, a, a little bit at times in the early stages under Arna Slot of, of thinking maybe that the performances are, are actually worse than they have been. I mean, you look at the underlying numbers around some of the performances that, that Liverpool fans have criticised so far, and this one's no different. And Liverpool actually kind of quietly dominate this game, really. I mean... You know, I suppose your takeaway from this fixture really could be kind of if you're glass half full, there's something there for you, and if you're glass half empty, there's something there for you. But but really, I I think this was another game where we saw a lot of positives. Really, I mean that sort of shown really from the the start of the game. So for me, Liverpool made a, another slow start, and that is becoming a little bit of a theme under Arna Slot. I mean, you remember in his press conference this week on Friday, he spoke about that fact and said almost that. You know, the, the first 20 minutes is almost two sides going like this. It's kind of, you know, everyone's running and, and, and putting their energy into the game, but then it will tend to settle down. So it makes you wonder, is he OK with these slow starts? Does he Is he happy for Liverpool to feel their way into the game before they really start playing the football? And I think there was evidence of that again here where, where Wolves definitely made the better start and Liverpool hadn't really got going. And yet, for all that Wolves dominated that period, they managed to generate 0.09 expected goals. So really basically not, nothing you know no real threat on Liverpool's goal you know some worrying moments where they kind of get in behind the midfield and you start to think oh no you know this doesn't look very good but they didn't get an awful lot from it really very, very rare shooting opportunities they didn't really sort of cut through Liverpool and um, you know it was just moments of kind of slight concern and yet Liverpool are very good at kind of covering that off and I thought the game kind of continued in that in that vein really for me I mean Again, you know, you come away from the game and there's kind of a negative feeling around it. And yet, what did Wolves muster? 0.56 expected goals in total. Three shots on target. That's absolutely nothing. And those shots on target in terms of XG were worth 0.03, 0.04. And then the final one is 0.31, which is the goal that Wolves scored, which Liverpool essentially hand on a plate to them. I mean, really, really poor from Canate in that moment, you have to admit. But, and basically he provides a, a tapping in that moment through a slightly unfortunate deflection. So, you know, Liverpool, even in a game where they're not, you know, you don't think you come away and you think they're not at the best, they, they're, very, they're not really giving anything up unless they make a catastrophic error like that or, you know, the own goal against West Ham, for example. I, I still, even in this game, come away from it thinking this is a team that's hard to, to score against, really, even in a game where they concede the second goal that they've conceded in the Premier League so far this season. And it kind of aligns with something else that Slot said at his presser on Friday, which I thought was interesting, which was kind of that, look, even when Liverpool are giving up opportunities, they're not very good opportunities. You know, you look at what when the opposition take a shot, we have got so many bodies back in front of it to make it difficult for them to score. And again, that kind of happened here. We saw that Liverpool... They weren't controlling the game in the way that the manager would like and that is something he will absolutely be desperate to address, particularly because he's a manager who very much we know he's big on control and he wants his side to do that. But even in the moments they lost control and Wolves looked like they could do something, Liverpool so, so good at getting back and defending their own box and making sure that you know half chances don't turn into anything bigger and that they can stop that. And as I say, the, the only moment they kind of got it wrong really was when Canate... Just a, a moment of madness from him, really, that, that gives up an opportunity that he couldn't really, really miss. And, you know, in the end, I just think, as I say, I think Liverpool come out on top of it massively, really, in that sense, because they don't give up good opportunities. And then going the other way, again, you know, you're talking about not a great performance, but 2.64 expected goals. They score twice, of course. And that's not, not too bad at all. So, 
you know, I, I think I think some of the early coverage of slot, or, or and I say coverage, I mean it's not necessarily a media uh, narrative. I think it's more maybe supporters a little bit kind of worried about how things are playing out. But I think quietly, even in the worst elements of Liverpool's performance, their their floor is quite high. You know how bad it can get because they're good at stopping shots and they generally good at generating expected goals themselves and chances and, and, and that obviously then turns into goals so I thought you know quietly kind of impressive in that element today and, and as I say maybe maybe supporters sometimes should kind of question the biases and, and, and maybe question how they, they, they feel after games and whether that actually tallies with the reality and I think this is a really really good example of that so I'm a little bit more high on this performance than maybe most people are I mean I'm sure you'll let me know in the comments how you felt about it uh, but I, I do think the statistics bear out the, the reality that you know, Wolves actually didn't do a lot and weren't allowed to do a lot with, with the moments that they had. And in terms of other aspects of the performance, of course, I don't want to just focus on that, but I think there were other encouraging aspects as well. I mean, one thing that Slot has really impressed me with, I think, so far in his reign is his understanding that in the Premier League in particular, you have to win battles to win football matches. I mean, he spoke about it after the Ipswich game that, look, he told his players at half time, you have to go out there and win your duels. If you don't do that, you've got no chance. After Ipswich had kind of physically bullied Liverpool, even though, again, like Wolves, hadn't got an awful lot out of it. Um, and again, I think we saw that again. I think it's probably, I wouldn't be surprised if there was a very, very similar kind of half time team talk from slot here in terms of. Uh, you know, you've got to go out there and win more battles. I mean, ground duels in the first half, Wolves win 61% of them to Liverpool's 39 and almost flips entirely on its head in the second half. Wolves winning 40%, Liverpool winning 60%. And um, so that, that physicality and winning the battles and just that, you know, trying to push the, 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 the performance up through just trying to, as I say, just winning individual battles across the pitch. We saw that again here today. And I think, you know, it didn't contribute to Liverpool being totally dominant in the second half as you would have hoped they maybe would have been but they were much better they they, they they had slightly more control than they did in the first half and generally were finding it easier to kind of get themselves up the pitch and try to keep Wolves away from danger, dangerous areas so again I think that Slot gets that is very very encouraging uh, and, we, and we saw that again and of course on that point I also want to point out that, that, that Arna Slot also was willing in his post-match interview to give Gary O'Neill credit for the way he set his side up. Their press was very, very dangerous. Again, it created opportunities that he didn't make the most of because of Liverpool's defending and also poor choices from them. But I thought, you know, sometimes you do have to give credit to the opposition. And let's not forget as well that, yes, in amongst the winning of the battles and the XG kind of being in Liverpool's favour, that, you know, sometimes you are going to have these games, you know, where everything's not going to go right. You have to sort of drag out a win no matter how you can. And, and you know, we often say about sign of champions, don't we, to win when you're not playing well. But, you know, let's not think that this is just a slot thing either. And, uh, you know, it's it's rare that it's happened in, under slot so far, by the way. Uh, you know, generally Liverpool have performed well and won. But these games are always going to pop up. They popped up frequently under Klopp. I mean, I can remember him winning a couple in the, in the last minute at Wolves alone. So... You know these games will happen where you know the things things don't always go in your favour and you you really do have to sort of somehow grind it out. And again, you know if you're looking for encouragement in these early stages under slot, is that he's picked out a couple of wins in very very different ways. You know some of these wins, some of them very comfortable, some of them you know where they've had to show a bit of physicality, some of them where it's you know second half's been much better than the first. He's winning in different ways, and again, I think a manager who can win when you know you give away a, a soft goal and you one one, and the crowd is up and it gets really tricky. That again for me is another you know more credit towards slot and, and suggest that this is a manager who can you know find his way around different tests and and and, and although there are clearly there are bigger tests to come, and, and he he keeps mentioning the fact that the fixture list has been kind to Liverpool, and that is undoubtedly a factor. I think these early stages, these early signs, is that at the end of the day, the, the top of the league after six games, and they've won in many different ways. And today, I think there's another check in the in the box for slot, really, because as I say, it was all about battling qualities as much as everything else. So again, you know, again, maybe I'm too high on slot, maybe I'm too high on this start in general, but I was really, really encouraged by that today. Um, and now I just want to kind of wrap up really by by focusing on one individual performance as well, and obviously. You're probably getting sick of hearing me talk about Ryan Gravenberg. I'm getting sick of talking about him every uh, after every game. But the fact is, he was absolutely outstanding today, yet again. I mean, his performances this season have just been uh, ridiculous, really. And again, you know, I talked about Liverpool losing individual battles. That actually wasn't the case for Ryan Gravenberg, even though people were around him. 
he was pretty much flawless from, from first minute to the 90. I mean, wins three out of three tackles, eight out of eight duels. This, this very, I've very rarely seen that in covering statistics from games to win 100% of your duels when you make that many. Three out of three tackles, as I said, 92% passing accuracy and wasn't dispossessed a single time. I mean, you know, I'm so scared to kind of talk about him in terms of, you know, you worry that it is this a little purple patch he's in at the start of the season. A side's going to kind of work out how to get about him and make it more difficult for him. But the fact is, you know, these first few games of the season, he's genuinely performing at a world-class level and we have to acknowledge that. Uh, you know, the challenge for him now is to keep that going. But I thought again today in a, you know, in a difficult game where Liverpool were getting swamped in midfield at times and Wolves were making, you know, their press was very, very good and well-coordinated. He just showed his class time and time again and was a massive factor in Liverpool winning that game. And, and long may those performances continue because they've just been, been the star of the season so far, but also the surprise package of the season so far. Um, absolutely phenomenal performance. And, and as I say, long may it continue now going to leave it there as ever let me know in the comments what you thought about that one maybe you disagree with the, the positivity i brought after this one but i mean if you can't be positive after moving top of the league uh, under a new manager then when can you be um, but do let me know your thoughts who is your standout performers uh, you know what do liverpool need to do better i think one talking point for me is maybe keeping the ball better when they're up late in games that is something that slot will definitely want to see but do let me know your thoughts on that one uh, and there's ever more games to come, isn't there? So I'll be back very, very soon for the, the build-up to Bologna and then uh, Crystal Palace. And then, of course, the international break where we'll do more uh, analysis of how Liverpool are getting on so far. So I'll see you guys very, very soon.